as manager of the DNA team over with the Thai Tsunami Victim Identification Team. Uh, we were faced with an almost impossible task of identifying approximately 5,000 victims of the tsunami, including 500 children. It was an operation uh, the scale of which we'd never seen before and we, we definitely weren't prepared for. I underestimated how difficult it was going to be. I mean, like everyone, I saw the television pictures and, and you know, it was, it was horrifying. But then I had to put on my scientific hat and, and really start to think about the operation as a scientist. How, how am I going to uh, achieve, you know, the impossible? Uh, so definitely I felt the, the weight uh, or the burden of responsibility very, very quickly. Uh, when you're working on, on a task of, of such a large scale, it's just so challenging, but you really need to stop and celebrate the small milestones. So for example, when we achieved our 200th identification within the DNA team, just did something small, uh, got a chocolate cake with the number 200 on it, and it was only 200 people, but I, I spoke to the team and said for, for every individual there's, there's 50 people that, that knew that individual, whether they be workmates, loved ones, family members. So in reality, those 200 people represent 10,000 people's lives that, that we impacted on. Sending somebody home back to their family, I think that's a big motivation. And also giving somebody back their identity, the thought of, of an individual, anybody, you know, no matter where they're from, what their background is, for somebody to be lost forever uh, is, a, is a really sad thought. So. You know, we're lucky that with the skills and the expertise we have, the work that we do, we can give somebody back their identity and we can give somebody back to their family. So that was definitely the motivation for me and I'd probably speak on behalf of my whole team as well.